the locals we're going to today is so far from us it took us an hour to drive here that's how much i love you guys clap that every day baby one hour just just to come here clap these vans up let's go you guys don't know what's coming yo public service announcement pen best deck it was on Milano. Oh, ah, it was good, it was good, it was good. We are playing a brand new deck today. A deck I never played in my life. I don't even know how to combo with it yet. You guys will see what deck it is. When I was out here, I said someone, I said pen best deck, but someone said cap. Who was that? You said it was cap? Absolutely. <laughs> so what happens when we play first round and I put up 90 gates? Yo, then just unlucky. Unlucky, I'm not even playing pen. Guys, if this video gets a thousand likes and you have to comment down below odd eyes, I'll, I'll come to a local odd eyes deck next. Let's go. Yo, odd eyes best deck? Odd eyes best deck, easy. Everyone efficient, odd eyes, anything oh, pendulum. I love it, pendulum beautiful. best deck, you know it. Oh, amazing. Oh. I'm a tear in my eye, it's beautiful. Oh. Yo, you guys gonna win today? Uh, no, not at all. No, other than, come on, I believe. Yeah, yeah you are. Uh, I'm, I'm hopeful for my two friends. So you're hopeful, so that means you're the best player in all of 401. No, no. <laughs> I, I don't know who's good here and who's bad. I've never been here. Like, I've been here like once or twice, but are you like no, the... No, this is our first time here. <laughs> oh, is your first time here too? He's the DDD king. You're the DDD? Yeah, he's the DDD But he's the whale king. Whale? Well, before we get started, I have to announce the giveaway for today. The winner is Zach. Congratulations. Let's go, Zach! Let's go, Milano. This is your first time. Thank you for all the new players today. Let's get it started. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, Milano, so without saying what deck I'm playing, do you think it's a good deck? It's a good deck, but I hate that shit. <laughs> Yo, uh, quickly, before the tournament starts, if you could pick one guy you think is going to win, who's it going to be? Yo, it's got to be Brandon, bro. Brandon, Brandon is ah, Brandon's a champ from 401. Okay, you guys hit it there. Milano's champion for today is Brandon. Let's do this. Jeez, look at those bands. Those look at those demons. Someone play my master of a demon. I'm like, to my two, play my baby. Let's go. <laughs> you heard Milano. Make sure to go get your playmats on www.gaming.com right now. Let's go. Locals time. I'm excited. Let's go. Brand new locals. Brand new deck. Ah, uh, I wonder what deck we're playing, boys. I wonder what deck we're playing. I wonder what deck we're playing. Oh, you guys are about to see. Sorry for the glare. That was a lore of darkness. I go soaker his contract. And that's gonna be it, baby. We're playing Brave Prank Kid. Ah, uh, let's go. Our Aquamancer gets Ash. Our prank kid guy gets Valen. That's alright. Now we're not playing normal prank kid before you guys just look at prank kid and say trip. What the heck, bro? I thought you were my boy. Why are you playing this boring ass prank kid deck? Well, we're playing a different version, a different take on prank kids with a bunch of extenders. The idea is if they hand trap me, we'll still be okay. And uh, yeah, I opt to just get a lot of value here. Plus wise, probably could have done that a little better, but I'm still new to the deck. But the idea of this deck is that we are trying to play extender version. We're playing one for one. We're playing six magician souls. We're playing monster reborn. Just a bunch of extenders uh, where if when you're going second, when you chain block the first prank kid and the first prank kid resolves, you don't care any hand trap after that. Like they're just cards to bait your opponent. You get a free prank kids pranks. You get a free uh, extenders and you play three charmers in the extra deck to be able to extend going second and OTK with Celine and access code. That's also why Celine is a huge part of this deck. Uh, because so I mean why souls is a huge part of the deck is because Celine. So pen best deck, baby. We already knew we we're gonna throw some pen jump card in there. Let's go. Uh let's do this, boys. I really like this deck. I think it's really strong, really powerful. And by playing a lot of extenders, you make it so you don't lose if the first prank kid gets stopped. And because Miami is at one, it's not really a prank kid deck anymore, just a monster summons a bunch of times. Kinda how like Drytron or Pendulum does. But let's go, boys. I'm excited here. Sadly, our only hand trap is DD Crow. And uh, maybe I should have DD Crow the Griffin when he summons out eventually because I would have make him search a trap card. But this is the, just an amazing deck. You're going to see this uh, top tier gameplay. Guys, I'm telling you, look at that Endemian playmat. I am Endemian. Remember, I am Iron Man when the Avengers movie came out. Oh my God, this is my very first playmat I released. Bro, most beautiful mat ever. Here you go, Siegfried. My hand is not capable to stop this board. Uh, the issue with prank kids that I'm realizing right here in, in match number one is he stole my prank kid with the trap card and that's <laughs> that's it that's game <laughs> that's the issue with this uh if you can at least go to meow meow that gives you one extender and then depending on your uh extenders in your hand like if meow meow has a body on the field you summon out souls you get value from souls by discarding you go dark to put pressure on your opponent you go selene access code 
perhaps another uh, extender after access code clears the interruption is going to verte uh but yeah that's a really cool thing about this deck so there's so many lines of place and I, I really like that he ashes our prank his place that's fine we have uh this and meow is always gonna get chain blocked well our prank is gonna get chain blocked by the fateful and this is the first time in my life i'm doing this combo i don't even know what is about this combo uh, like i literally don't know shit about this combo at all like uh <laughs> This is my first time in my life playing prank kids on dueling book or or in real life so i don't even know what i'm doing but if i could pull this off so could you guys guys i'm gonna go undefeated i'm telling you guys this is the best deck bro after pendulum and after cybers <laughs> but i do think it's good to switch up decks every now and then uh, especially because we're doing locals every day so i want you guys not to get bored of the same deck every single week we'll be doing different decks uh, i literally purchased every meta deck so why not uh here I don't go into Verte because I don't have another prank kit in my hand. I realize the souls will be able to get you another prank kit only in scenario. Uh, sorry, a Verte only in scenarios where you draw one of the prank kits in your hand. I think my my hand, my hand is just all hand traps. It's insane. Uh, so he, he's going to do a commendable job here to, to try and clear my board. But bro, I got all hand traps in my hand. <laughs> like th this is insane. Uh, like I have how how are you going to beat double Regeki with with Griffin with four hand traps like? That's actually absurd. Or like three hand traps or some shit. Like, that's absurd. Uh, Eagles go Pernicus. I'm just val calculating everything he has in his graveyard, everything he has in his hand. I'm like, all right, I think if I just literally go one for one for the rest of his cards, there's no possible play. I just want to save Griffin for his uh, fusion and grave effect. He's going to summon out this guy. I'm like, that's that's fine. That comes out. Let's we'll Regeki you. Go so great the contract. GG, my friend. That is game. We are 1-0. Oh, we got three more to go. We got to win. Milano's locals. I told Milano I'm going to win for him for Duel Night. We got to win this. Guys, Patreon. That's how we won this. Go sign on Patreon right now. I'm telling you guys, it's godly. Let's go, baby. Prank it, third best deck. Let's go. Yo, bro, any last words about our duels? Hey, man. I'm just happy to play. It was an awesome fight uh, against you, man. Yo, it was a pleasure to play against you, bro. I'm a win for you, bro. Hell yeah, bro. I want to lose to the Let's go. <laughs> Good battle there. We came on top. As you guys can tell, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but it's all good. We're going to find a way. I want to play every one of the meta decks before YCS Charlotte. There's a bunch of YCS that is going to announce, so we're going to go to every single one of them. Let's go. Yo, I actually have a trick to, to fix your sleep schedule. It works. So here's what you do. You stay up all night, don't go to sleep, sleep at night. Okay, the problem is I've done that hundreds of times trying to fix it. I also it know another works. way to stay awake. It never works. It's probably illegal though. You're telling me to take crack? <laughs> no, pre-workout, what the heck? Yo, Tino, you win? Ah, it's okay, I'm gonna win for us, bro. Our car, our car, there'll be a champion in that car today. Let's go. I lost to Brandon. So before you guys talk shit about Prank It, okay? I'll talk shit about Prank It, fuck Prank It, but this version is different. I'm playing a massive Souls package. I think Souls enables so much, it's literally pot of greed. Yo, Solomon, ready to duel next round? Yo, I'm ready, Trip. Let's go. Let's go, yo. I love your yo, energy, bro. I love, I love your it. energy. Let's go. Ah, uh, let's go. We're going on to round number two. Round number two. Ah, uh, guys, guys, pen best deck. That's all I gotta say. Prank it, third best deck. Cyber, second best deck. Ah, ah, ah. Tenny Synchro is definitely somewhere up there, but you already know what it is. So I'm facing off my boy here. He's playing Salamangrate, uh, Blastal and Pass. Let's go. Start off with the classic. Red of Hermes here. No prank kid brick. Ah, uh, beautiful. Set some hand trap. Boom. Uh, at the moment, I have Imperm. I have Nibiru. I think I had something else as well. Uh, I think, what was it? Ghost Ogre, perhaps? No, I grip. Yeah, I didn't have Ghost Ogre. I griffin that. Uh, that way he can't go Gazelle. Uh... He ends up uh, drawing and passing. I'm just trying to draw Prank Kid here to win the duel. I draw for turn. No Prank Kid. But I do set up a Griffin again. I have, access, uh, I have Nibiru. I have so many hand traps. I'm like, you know what? I don't want to lose to a Veiler. There's a high chance he has a hand trap right now because uh, I didn't give an opportunity to Veiler anywhere or Imperm anywhere. So I opted not to go for normal summon. Make uh, I didn't want to lose my hand trap. Uh, I, I could have special a... Aquamancer, normal summon hand trap, and then make Verte, but I don't want to lose to any hand trap. I know for a fact he has it. So I know if I have Nibiru. Nibiru absolutely destroys his deck. So I'd rather just sit on what I have and keep as much advantage in my hand as possible uh, because he's at 4,000. So on my following turn, I will kill him. All it takes is one prank kid. Uh, I'm letting him go off here. I have Nibiru. I opt not to even Nibiru. I, I opt just to Imperm the Axis Code Talker. Uh, I know I have follow up for days. Uh, I have great follow up, and I want to save the Nibiru for when it really matters. 
because uh, Imperm could be dealt with when it's already on the field. Uh, so I want to save that for when it matters. So here I'm going to go into uh, summon token, uh, bring up my second Fateful. I'm playing two Fateful in this deck. Uh, it came up huge. I actually completely forgot I even played two Fateful. Uh, but that's fine. Ash is the kid. Doesn't matter. Uh, what happened there, actually? Uh, I believe he asked something else. But, uh, oh, yeah, he asked a Griffin effect. Yeah, he asked a Griffin effect. He ghost spells that, which was huge. I made a huge misplay there. I should have gone into a, a second doodle because uh, then the ghost spell wouldn't have really mattered as much. Uh, but that's fine. We go Verte here. Uh, so we end up with DPE. Uh, we still have our Nibiru. And, you know, DPE doesn't do much against Salaman Great because they have Bay Links. But guess what? I'm on a 2 to Electro play, man. Guys, it's 2 to Electro play, man. Listen to me right now. There's only five left in history. There will never be another two electric play man in history. The beautiful, oh my God, it is literally gracing my eyeballs right now. Look at that two electric play mat. Literally the last play mat ever for two electric. Guys, we are changing our website completely. There's only five left of this and they will never be in sale. Then Deviant Matt, there will be uh, some more. I'm gonna reprint that one because I really like it. But this will be the last two electric play mat ever. So make sure to get it. There's only five left on, on the first link down below. And while you're there, I'll sign up a Patreon too. Let's go. Let's go. All right, no more plugs, bro. Let's just plug our negates into victory. So here, he's going to get a lot of value from selling great cards. Uh, I'm okay with that. He goes Pyro Phoenix. I'm like, I'm all right with this. I'm letting him go up. I told you guys, I've saved my Nibiru since literally turn one. There was just no reason for me to use it. This is his third turn now. I'm saving it for when it really matters. This deck cannot play through Nibiru. Salamangre hard loses to Nibiru. So I'm just waiting for him to utilize all his all his cards. Now that I know everything in his hand, I let him pop my cards. I trigger DPE and then I Nibiru when he attempts to kill me. And then he sets and then that's going to be game. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Pen best deck. All I got to say. Not even pen. It's prank it. But same thing, bro. Let's go. Did you summon a bunch of monsters? This is like do I'm playing dollar store pendulum. Let's go. Uh, I realized as a duel went on, I moved the mats a little bit, but that's all good. Uh, so here we're going to draw. We're going to draw. He go, My opponent goes sign and mining. He's going to set up his plays. I'm like, I look at my hand. I'm like, oh, my hand is broken. Holy, that's insane. So I'm going to let him go off here. He goes Stalio. This is good. This means that he's locked out uh, to just fires. And I'm looking at my hand. I'm like, bro, this is wild. All right, I just got to. I know he has the pop two card. Uh, he has a counter trap uh, that, okay, I didn't know he had a counter trap, but he's gonna counter trap me eventually on his turn. So we're dealing with two interruptions plus a hand trap. I Nibiru at the very end. He goes up to Will. Will will be able to bring that out. I'm like, damn, that's that a good Will. That was good for him to uh, save the Will. I go Aquamancer. He's gonna negate that with the counter trap. Uh, at this point, I go proper rights. I bring out a Magician's Souls. Uh, so I go Fateful. He ends up popping the Fateful, not the trigger. I summon Souls. Uh, in this scenario, I go Verte. I have no prank. I have everything but a prank kit. Everything. I drew one of every other extender. Plus, I have more hand traps in my hand. So I'm going to pop that. I'm going to protect the will. And then I'm going to use will again on his turn to send uh, the will uh, right away when he activates it. And then he's left on a top deck. Uh, he did not draw Salamangra, and that was over. I drew uh, da uh, Dash Effect prank, prank it for turn GG. We are 2 0 oh now, boys. Let's go. Get the energy up, boys. We got to win. Two more matches after this. We are 2-0 at the moment. We got to go 4-0. Y'all already know. 4-0 for the pen god. Let's go. I'm telling you, this deck is actually nice. Look at my graveyard, bro. I should play more stuff, but all these extenders, amazing deck. I really like it. Let's go. Guys, that was an amazing match. I got to give some love right now to these two. The entire time I was here, fucking greatest vibes ever. They tell me, you know, it was great, really fun to duel all that. Best vibes ever. Toronto locals, greatest locals, baby. Let's go. Yo, thank you, Trip. Thank you. Yeah, let's go. Oh, massive appreciation. Trip to a million. Trip to a million. Oh, the greatest, greatest sport, bro. Fucking yeah. ultimate vibes. I fucking love it, bro. I fucking love this place. Yeah. Guys, last locals we went to, we went undefeated until the last round, and we fucking lost in the last round. That cannot happen again. That cannot happen again. That cannot happen again. We need to remain focused. We didn't draw Prank Kid game one or game two, the last duel. We need to remain focused, very focused, draw what we need, and win. Very simple. Yo, Tino, you win? Fuck. Who knows, maybe it's time to go back to the your classic Alistair combos, bro. Yeah. You're known for that. Let's go, Milano. Milano, I have to win for duel night, bro. Bro, do it for team duel night, bro. Come team on, duel man. night. Yo, if you don't win today, I gotta make sure you 
you you regret it on next duel night. Let's <laughs> Table one. Round number three. This, I'm telling you guys, is the real finals right here. I'm facing off against my boy. He's a really good player. And we are, I told him, like, yo, this is literally the finals right now. Let's go. This, well, it's not the finals. It's round three, but let's go. Two best players in the room right now. So where I'm facing off against Tenyi, Synchros, Sword Soul, etc. I think that deck is amazing. I really like that deck. I've been testing on Dueling Book for a while as well. He goes Ogres, the Faithful. That's fine. Uh, let me go into uh, uh, me, uh, Dodo. He Veilers a Dodo. And we actually hard drew Pandemonium, so we didn't even care at this point. So we go Fanzies here. Gonna send the Pranks. Uh, he feels safe, but man, my hand is absurd. Uh, we summon out this, and I'm thinking in my mind, how can I get the most possible advantage, most possible value, most possible plus? I'm gonna use the fact of that to add Pranks and that. I'm gonna summon this out. I'm going to then bring out a uh, this one. And then I'm calculating. I have Magician Souls in my hand. I'm, I'm just calculating. I'm like, man, you know what? I don't want to summon out the Souls because in case he has Nibiru. So I just set two. I have Imperm and Pandemonium. And Pranks draw, draws me another hand trap. Uh, let's go. And uh, I do that in draw phase. And I have Pandemonium, but he doesn't know it because but I kind of foretold it by uh, the action of events. Uh, so he has Ashina out there. He go, has the token. He's going to attempt a token. He's going to token target my fusion spell I chain. And that's going to be win. Because double Regeki, uh, when he's going to have two cards in hand, is just too insane. And uh, we hard, yeah, we hard drew that, that. That that was an amazing hard draw. But nonetheless, hard drawing Pandemonium is a brick. Unless you get hand trapped into Oblivion. and uh, But you're still able to set up uh, Bow Wow with uh, the Pandemonium. So it worked out really nice there. And man, I'm telling you guys, any prank can play out there. This, this deck's actually really, really good. I really like it with the extenders. Like, I had souls in my hand there. If that souls was anything, even a monster reborn, which I'm playing, uh, we were good because literally anything he brings out, you just need a second monster sometimes. Just at least make Verte with all the hand traps you have in pranks. Like, that's still a great follow up. If he goes to Ogre's my token collector, which is actually really cool because uh, that's going to stop him from playing. Uh, he really needs uh, the thing there. So he goes Sangan, uh, Sangan, Almiraz. We're going to bring out uh, Arborea. And now Arborean that's gonna go Needle Fiber. I'm gonna Veiler that. And now at this point, uh, he's gonna just search for next turn and he is going, there's not much he could do there. Uh, Needle Fiber is gonna bring a Shooting Riser for Vishuda to make Baron the floor. I'm gonna Ash the Shooting Riser so he can't do anything. I brick really hard too. I just drew all hand traps. Uh, so here we go, Ghost Sword gonna trigger that. We go right of Aramis here. Uh, I, I attack the Shooting Riser right away because if he Veilers my Verte, I'm fucked, but at least he doesn't have a Tuner. He does Veiler it, so it's very important to use your battle phase before Verte. Because uh, if Verte gets hand trapped, you're fucked. And now he he, he drew, drew no tuner for turn. Yeah, I think he drew another Vishuda. Uh, so he, he's going to clear my stuff, but that's fine. I just need to draw a prank kit here. I need to draw a play. Well, I got a starter, man. I just need to draw a starter. And we're good. Uh, he attacks. I'm like, that's fine. Draw for turn. Prank kit. Let's go. Absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm <laughs> what, Wow. What a duel, bro. What a duel. And just like that, we're going to end up winning here. And I'm trying to play around hand traps as much as possible to get as much value as possible from each hand trap. And uh, yeah, we're just, we're, we're lit here. We're, we are solid. We are golden. Uh, there's, there's no way that we could lose this uh, with uh, this much advantage. No, this is, this is game. GG's, bro. We're 3-0. Guys, if you checked out with the last locals vlog, we were, we were undefeated as well going into the last round. So uh, <laughs> we can't lose now. We can't, there's no way we go undefeated two times in a row and then lose the last round two times in a row. So according to this gambler's fallacy, that is not so much a fallacy, but it's facts. We are going to win this one and we're going to win the next one. And that's just facts. I did not opt to go for game that turn because I wanted to set up as much uh, negates possible. Also, I don't even know how to fucking OTK with this deck yet. I'm so new with it. I definitely could do some charmer shit before I lose to one Veiler. So I'm like, fuck it. Let's just set up guaranteed double regeki with hand traps and win. Let's go, baby. We're going to enter last round now. 3-0, gotta go 4-0, let's go. We won the last one, it was an amazing match. Shout out my boy, that was a great duel. Almost congratulations, one more win. Yesterday when we played, or sorry, two days ago, the last locals we played, same thing, undefeated until last round, we fucking lost. So now we can't have that, we gotta win. Yo, are we gonna clutch it out and win the last one? You got it, man, I have, to, I have to, I have to, I have to. Guys, last round's coming, we need to win. Glory to Ox Enchantress, let's go. Guys, if this video gets gets one like, 
I'll post a lolly version of a playmat with the enchantress or some shit. So smash the like button right now. Also comment down below. What do you guys think of my deck? Actually, just kidding. Don't do that. Y'all gonna roast me. Pants the best deck, but we still want to test this deck out. Tino, how you doing? Yeah, man, man. I'm X2. X2. X2? You're, gonna, you're gonna win your next one. Yeah, man. Let's go. Table one for the win. Oh. It's gonna be Steven Stray, Jimonoski versus Perry. Pranks first deck after Pad. Let's go. Last round, baby. Last round. Facing off against my boy here. He is playing Sword Soul. And I really like our matchup. He's playing pure Sword Soul, not like the Tenny Synchro version. He's playing pure Sword Soul Tenny. Um. So he's gonna summon out some cards here. He goes Baxia, Adhara. He's gonna bring out Chao Fang. Chao Fang is in order to actually have double Valor and Imperm here. I Imperm the Moye, uh, a little off here, but Imperm the Moye still triggers. I'm like, fuck, and I have double Valor, bro. I have double Valor and Imperm. I'm like, ah, that Chao Fang is really gonna hurt us. I didn't want to Imperm the Chao Fang and Valor the Moye because I didn't know he had one card in last hand, hand follow up. Now uh, here I Imperm his. Uh, I drew Imperm for turn, and bro, I have one Prank Kid, and one, I literally, bro, two Valor, Imperm, Prank Kid, and Aquamantris, and I drew Imperm for turn. Literally absurd. Imperm, uh, Synchro 10, I was just, <laughs> that was insane. That was insane. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what an insane fucking top deck, bro. That was wild. And yeah, this is basically as good as a deck could open. Four Hand Traps, right of Aramis here, and Prank Kid. <laughs> I mean, if, bro, if you're drawing like that, you're winning OICS. Like, that's literally basically the best hand in history after serving him in Demian on five spells. Like, that, that's just wild. And, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to win this one here, and we're going to go on to the next game. Axis Code Selene, man, I'm telling you, very nice. Very nice to have. Very nice to have. I special the failure for my hand. <laughs> Funny. But, yeah, I'm telling you, Selene's nice in this deck. Selene in Prank Kids makes it so, bro, you can make any Charmer with Prank Kids. And the extra deck, there's more space than you think. If you really cut out the stuff you don't actually need. I'm not playing Rocket Ride. Can you believe? No, sorry. I, I played Instant Fusion last second and played Rocket Ride because of Instant Fusion. But if I, if I'm not, so I, my earlier version did not play Instant Fusion and I did not play Rocket Ride. So, yeah, you don't you don't really need those stuff, man. There's a lot of space. Like, Rocket Ride is only there because Instant Fusion. My opponent bricks, but I brick even harder. And at this point, I'm like, fuck. I actually misread this card. I know what this card does, but for some, I don't know, it was like a brain fart or something that I just miscalculated. I thought it said when um, effect is activated and not when a monster is special summoned. I fumbled the bag so hard. He banished the prank his pranks. I really bricked too. I go foolish. I go right of Hermes here. And then when I special summon, Verte is going to banish it. I'm like, bro, I'm so stupid. I should have just go Ogre on pranks. And at the very least, I could have had, he had no, clearly he has no play. And I could have just had Fateful Adventure live for next turn and... Oh my god, I fucking fumbled the bag, bro. I should have just Ghost Ogre the first effect of this card. My mistake. That was my mistake. But you know what? It's okay. You live and you learn. And as long as you don't make that same mistake twice, it's not really a mistake. You feel me? So yeah, we made that mistake there, but that's all good because we're never going to make that mistake again. So now uh, he's going to... Yeah, we're, we're going to game three. There's no way I lose going, going when I go first. No chance. My deck is so insane going first. Uh, like We're literally going to set up double red Geki Griffin four hand traps. Like We're good. We go prank his place here. Uh, right of Aramis here. Uh, I go place the bait and ash. Summon this. I believe he did ash, actually. Uh, I know you, you guys can't really see the gra our graveyards. Uh, I want to make it close so you can see the actual action that's going on. Uh, set up Griffin here. And boom, bro. When this is set up here, it's just game. It's actually game. Uh, we go this. We're going to set up do uh, this one. And we're going to set up this one. We're gonna draw. I, I what did I banish? I think I banished something absurd. I re realized he didn't have souls because or he didn't have Nibiru. By the way, I like foretold it, and then I, I bring this out. Boom! Oh my goodness! Absolutely amazing! Absolutely amazing! All oh, every card in my hand is a hand trap. Every single card in my hand is a hand trap. <laughs> every single card in my hand is a hand trap. On uh, in draw phase, I bring back the other two so I could still uh, hit him with dropsy. Uh, yeah, with the fusion. He's a Klazia. He cosmic. He, he's new to prank kit. I told him he should have cosmic drop phase. He did it in main phase, so he's still trigger. And uh, that's just gonna be game here. Pen best deck. We won, bro. Undefeated. 4-0. Oh, it's because of the true game play maps. Get your maps now. And because of the Patreon, go there now. Let's go. Undefeated, bro. Let's go. Uh, we won a box today. We're gonna keep winning boxes all the way until we win uh, uh, cases at the YCS. Less 
fucking go, baby. Pen best deck. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, baby. We fucking did it. Yeah. What do you mean? What the heck, Milano? A lot of talking shit because we're playing prank kids. Of course I won. Milano told me my win doesn't count because my deck was a snooze fest. Listen, bro. Listen, listen, listen. You're playing. Listen, bro. You're playing <laughs> prank kids fucking brave, right? That deck is actually for the fucking most beginner ass duelist in bro, the world, bro. It's a good You're deck. supposed to be the pen god, bro. I used to look up to you, bro. I used to be 14 years old playing my pendulum combo. Like, Man, I want to be like him one day. Now, bro, look at him now, bro. What? Where's the pen god, bro? Where's the pendulum, bro? bro? I have to let people win. But they still couldn't. But they still couldn't win, bro. That's the worst part. You put up zero in the games, bro. Just try get these, bro. Come on, man. Yo, you know what's funny about this deck? What? It's actually ass. Half my game didn't even drop prank games. <laughs> Half my games are actually just passed on five hand traps. We yeah, still won, bro. Gates, let's go. Five, five to gates. Level, five to gates. Let's go. Five to gates. Five ailers, baby. Let's go. Bring that energy that we don't yep. really see anywhere. I love that vibe, bro. He's just telling me something awesome about his boy. Guys, my phone's at 1%, okay? The last thing I gotta say to leave off this video. Pen best deck, baby, fuck prank kids. Pen best deck, bro. Prank kids is ass. But guess what? Maybe we're gonna have to play it at Charlotte, guys. I don't know, it performed well. We'll see how it goes in tomorrow's tournament we play at. All I know is, if I play if I play Pendulum, it won't be fair. It's like starting off with like an 11 round buy. I don't wanna have an 11 round buy. I'll just play prank kids and have a zero round buy and still win. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see what deck we're gonna play. Until YCS Charlotte, we still have like four more decks to practice. I have every meta deck. So you guys are gonna be seeing a lot of different decks uh, throughout the vlog. So make sure to don't miss out. If you guys got this far, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Check out the Patreon if you guys wanna learn more about these sick plays. Every deck and every new member, yearly member, gets to pick the next lesson plan. So that's really awesome. I could uh, do Patreon lessons on anything. And any member sees all lessons. So make sure to go check that out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I actually think we're going to get dinner, me and Milano, and one of my boys, Tino. So either we're going to see you at the restaurant, or we'll see you in the next video. We'll see. Peace. This is our prize today. A box, a bottle of chaos. A pack of bottle of chaos. And an OTS pack. Let's go, baby. I have this really cool idea I'm going to start right now today. Yo, what day is it? Thursday... 20, 31st. 31st. Okay, so we could say we started April 1st. So I want to see how many packs I could have by the month of April. So in one month, how many packs would I get? This is going to be epic. I want to see how many packs I get without opening. Then we'll, we'll open it all at the very end. Anyways, that's it for the vlog today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, Tino, Milano, there he is, and Triff. We'll see you guys in the next one. I'm not that baby.